slipper. Then kill him. Cinderella must never see that man again. But why? I don't understand. I don't need you to understand. I need you to obey. Whatever she wants you to do to me, you don't have to do it. You seem a lot nicer than she is. I'm not. So, where did you hide the slipper? Get away from him, now. And who are you? I'm his mother. Isn't it pretty? So soft. So innocent. Who could guess it could cause so much pain? Why do you want to poison my heart? So you and my step wench can never show true love's kiss? I hate to ruin your fungus, but it doesn't look like it's going that way, so you can put the knife down. I'm not taking any chances. I'm working on a dark curse. And I learned a bit from your mother's mistakes. Those pesky little kisses can break curses. Makes you wonder what could happen once my sister made is out of the picture. How about we never find out? <laughs> Hey. Hey. I uh, came as soon as I got your message. Uh, how you doing? Well, my mother's been dead for a week. I'm completely alone, so I'm doing great. Oh, well, hey, if you, if you don't want me here, I can go. No, no, stay. Sorry. Turns out the only thing harder than cleaning up your dead mother's things is doing it by yourself. So all this is hers, huh? Yep. Whoa. How many gold pens does one person need? <laughs> she certainly didn't do anything by half measures. And now I don't know what to keep or what to sell or what to do with my life. Ah, so we're talking about more than office supplies here. Mother is the whole reason I'm even in this town. I spent my whole life hating her, and then at the end, it turns out she loved me all along. Wasn't that a good thing? I don't know. I just feel kind of lost. I feel like you're the only person I can talk to about this. You understand me. I'm trying to. We've both lost people that we care about. Both wounded birds. Right? We maybe... Maybe we can fix each other. Uh, hey, hey, that... This, this is not what you need. Right now. Believe me, it is. No, wait, no, wait, just stop, stop. Um, listen, listen, I get it. Okay, when my family died, I, I tried all sorts of stupid things to make me feel better. Oh, so now I'm stupid. No. No, you're not stupid. You're grieving. You're, you're trying to grab onto something. It's just. I'm the wrong thing. Well, then I'm screwed, because guess what? You're all I've got. Oh, come on, that's not true. Look, when I lost my family, I had nobody left. Okay, I was completely alone, but you're not. You still have a sister. And a niece. Who hates me? They both hate me. They don't hate you. If you're trying to figure out who Ivy is now, Make her the best person she can be. You can't change things with the family you lost, so maybe uh, you should try it with the family you still have. Ivy? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't remember calling Swift. Just trying to find Lucy. Jacinda texted me a list of her possible haunts. Now Jacinda has you tracking down her kid? You really are desperate, even for a self-published writer. Hey, I sold that book, all right? Look, if you didn't really want to take Lucy out tonight, why don't you just let Jacinda do it? You could have made everybody happy. You can't make everybody happy. And you do not want to see Victoria Belfry unhappy. What do you think I'm always cleaning up her messes? Why are you? 
Why do you let her force you into a role you don't want? Because without my mother's approval, I have no one. Lucy and Jacinda may be apart, but they will always have each other, and I'm all alone. Not that I expect you to understand. You're practically already a part of her little Insta family. You want to talk about being alone? Until last week, the only human contact I had was with my Swift riders. I spent all my time in a one-bedroom apartment with unfinished manuscripts. <sighs> Ghosts. Ghosts? Yeah. Yeah, you're not the only one on this bench with baggage. Okay, then, so how do we get rid of it? The baggage? Take a chance. Do the scary thing. Hope it all works out. Is that what you call what you're doing with Jacinda? The scary thing? I don't know. I'm just figuring it out. Same as you. Trick or treat. What's this? Something better than the cheap antifreeze you're drinking. It's a gift for helping me put me first for once. And for listening to my side of the story, no one ever does that. I know it's not gonna be easy to stand up to your mother. <laughs> yep, now you are going to drink with me until I'm ready to face her. So, what happened to Lucy and Jacinda? Thought you'd be out getting adult onset diabetes. I guess that you're braver than I am. Couldn't take a chance and do the scary thing after all, huh? It's complicated. <laughs> well, it's keeping things uncomplicated. Hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. Anna used to make it for me when I was feeling blue. I really messed up. Just hope there's still time to fix things with her. Well, you forgave your mother. Mother had to die for that to happen, and I would rather not. There are other ways to tell people how you feel about them, like, um, I don't know, apologizing? I take it back. I'd rather die. I know it's tough, but nothing beats a genuine... I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. I, I need to go find Anna. How about I come with you? I mean, it's not like I had any other plans. Henry, you should be with someone you're meant to be with. Like Jacinda? Yeah, well, I guess the only thing I'm meant for is a life of wallowing. That's cool, though. Good for the writing. OK, stop that. Cynicism is not your style. I know that things seem pretty grim right now, but they're going to get better. And when they do, I hope you'll be able to forgive me. Because if I'm going to start apologizing, Henry, you're at the top of my list. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Wait, 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 Ivy, what are you, what are you talking about? Why are you sorry? I just wish I had met you before I became me. Maybe I would have made better choices and things could have been different for all of us. Bye, Henry.